Rimini is a city on the Adriatic coast in Italy's Emilia-Romagna region. This area of Italy was once prominent in the Roman Empire, and the remains of a Roman city can still be seen. Originally founded in 268 BC, the city served as a vital communications outpost, and its location on the Adriatic Sea made it an important stronghold. Today, this gorgeous coastal city, with its 15-kilometer-long stretch of white sandy beaches, has a host of historical sites, beautiful parks, charming piazzas, and interesting museums for visitors to enjoy. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Rimini, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Italia in Miniatura. Located approximately 15 minutes to the northeast of Rimini, the Italia in Miniatura is a brilliant attraction that displays over 200 beautifully detailed miniatures based on real-life buildings and architectural triumphs from different regions of Italy, including the Colosseum, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and Florence Cathedral. Visitors can explore castles, houses, and rivers, watch gondolas on Venice canals, and more. With panoramic views from the Rainbow Monorail, the Super Rapid Ride, and 7D movies, there is so much to see at Italia in Miniatura. At number 9 is Ultramare. Located outside of Rimini, Ultramare brings nature, science, and adventure together in this large area. Visitors can view outdoor action with lots of animal shows, including birds and aquatic creatures, see live dolphin shows at one of the largest dolphin lagoons in Europe, and learn about their natural habitats. Then, watch birds of prey flying overhead, meet some interesting parrots, and make a splash at the water park. At number 8 is the Wheel of Rimini. Situated on the waterfront, the Wheel of Rimini is a fantastic way to take in the scenic views of the city and the ocean beyond. The giant Ferris wheel was built in 2009, complete with self-enclosed booths at the end of a marina. Rising to a height of 55 meters, visitors can see the entire length of the Riviera on a clear day. Number 7 is Tempio Malatestiano. The Tempio Malatestiano, or the Church of San Francisco, as it was correctly known up until the 19th century, is one of the most impressive monuments in Rimini. The importance of the church lies in the fact that it was one of the first ecclesiastical buildings to incorporate classical architecture. Inside, there is an abundance of decoration and religious artifacts, including an ornate crucifix designed by Giotto and some beautiful sculptures. At number 6 is Parco Giovanni Paolo II. Romini has several stunning public parks, and the most notable is the Parco Giovanni Paolo II. Visitors can find this wonderful natural space in the southern regions of Rimini, next to the Congressional Palace. The main feature of the park is the large artificial lake that is home to a wide variety of wildlife and fauna. With footpaths that wind through the parkland, this park is perfect for those who love to walk and enjoy the outdoors, or for families who want an open space to relax and play sport. Number 5 is the Arch of Augustus. The Arch of Augustus stands tall at the end of Rimini's main road, the Corso di Augusto, and dates back to 27 BC when it was built as part of the defensive walls that surrounded the city. Today, the arch stands in fantastic condition, despite its immense age, and the surrounding grounds are pleasant to walk through once you have admired this important Roman relic. At number 4 is Boa Bay Water Park. Just 100 meters off the glorious Rimini coastline, the incredible Boa Bay Floating Adventure Park is a fantastic maze of inflatable obstacles arranged to spell Rimini from above. Visitors can tackle a challenging course of bridges, tunnels, trampolines, and a giant super slippery iceberg as you swim, swing, and scramble your way through Boa Bay, one of the world's largest floating adventure parks. Number 3 is the Ponte di Tiberio. Rimini's Ponte di Tiberio is a Roman bridge completed in 20 AD during the reign of Tiberius. Its five arches span the canal, and it links the city center to the picturesque Borgo San Giuliano. The bridge still stands in practically perfect condition, despite being nearly 2,000 years old. And during a calm day, the reflection of the bridge in the deep blue water creates a perfect scene. At number 2 is Rimini Beaches. Rimini is famous for its long stretch of golden sands, and this is the perfect place to relax, enjoy the sun, and swim in the warm Adriatic Sea. The beaches stretch for miles and are lined with first-rate hotels, beach bars, restaurants, and good amenities. Families can enjoy soft sand, clear waters, and the lovely laid-back coastal atmosphere and charm. And at number one is Mirabilandia. Stretching around three small lakes, Mirabilandia, on Italy's Adriatic coast, is one of the most popular amusement parks in the whole country. Located to the northwest of Rimini, this amazing park is full of fun rides and attractions for people of all ages. Visitors can ride on super-fast roller coasters, get soaking wet on a log flume, or take a ride in a large Ferris wheel. There are also gentler rides for the kids, 
and amazing shows, including Wild West duels, stunt diving, street dance spectaculars, and a brilliant water park. So, that sums up our top 10 things to do in Rimini. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.